Hello, I'm James. This is a quick tutorial about enthalpy level diagrams. So uh, on the y-axis we have enthalpy with the chemical symbol H and this is a measure of chemical potential energy. So uh, higher up here we could have substances which are more reactive and have weaker bonds whereas further down would be more stable substances with stronger bonds. So for example this could be some elements like sodium metal and chlorine gas and they react to form uh, sodium chloride with those strong ionic bonds and uh, that sodium chloride would have lower potential energy, it would be more stable. So what's actually going on when this reaction takes place? Well, we've got uh, a coming together of the sodium atoms and the chlorine atoms. They're attracted to each other. and They'll accelerate towards each other and make these uh, strong bonds between the positive and the negatively charged ions. And uh, then there'll be a transfer of uh, energy into kinetic energy. And we'll have random motion going on uh, within the compound which forms. And that then gets transferred to the surroundings as heat. So this overall process, we can see in terms of the change, delta change in enthalpy H, this has gone down, so we've got a negative uh, delta H, and we've got an exothermic process. Heat is going from, exiting from the system. This whole idea is really just based on a difference. We're just doing the difference between this enthalpy and this enthalpy here, and a conservation of energy idea. You can't create or destroy energy. You can transfer it from one form to the other, and this is a transfer from chemical potential energy to heat.